Hello, I'd like to speak with you today regarding treating uh, asthma in children. Uh, this is a very serious matter. It could be a lethal thing that if it, it's not detected early and treated or if it's taken for granted that they just became allergic to something and it was a one-time thing. If your child presents with the tightness of chest or breathing difficulties or, or they, even if it looks like they're allergic to something, the very first thing you should do is get a doctor, a pulmonologist, or go to your pediatrician and have them uh, diagnose this child properly and quickly. Uh, if it's an emergency room visit, then have a follow-up visit with your pediatrician. And uh, if there's a pediatric pulmonologist, that's also good. Uh, you want to make sure that the child is being treated, that it may be that it could be a trigger. It could be something that the child is allergic to. It could be cat hair, or it could be dogs or horses or perfumes or, or foods or medicines or anything. But you won't know unless you discuss everything with your doctor according to what the child presented with, with the uh, asthma at the time, and try to date back and try to check back mentally of what the child was doing at that time. And also the, the doctor will more than likely, if the child is old enough, to give them a peak flow meter. This is so important that you have your child on this if it's an old enough child that can be compliant and be able to listen and follow the instructions of how to take a deep breath and blow into a little peak flow meter so that you will know what the baseline is when the child has normal daily routine and it not having any wheezing. And then when the child begins to have uh, some breathing problems and just every day you should keep a diary on this, have the child do this, uh, take the peak flow to meter every day and do it and then chart the findings, the readings on it so that you'll see if the child is headed for trouble. Uh, the decrease in the expiratory flow rate will, uh, or the flow, will uh, decrease as the child has uh, asthma problems. Also, the child will probably be on a quick relief uh, medications, might be on long-term medications such as corticosteroids. steroids. Uh, but uh, always know that you need to follow these medications with caution. Uh, don't just turn your child over to anyone in, in like a daycare or school with medications and just give them a quick rundown on them. This is a very important matter. Your child is at risk with asthma, so you want to make sure it gets early detection, that your school personnel are notified. The child might even want to, uh, you might want the child to wear a bracelet with uh, what the child's allergic to, if that's the case. Uh, but big on education. The more you know about asthma, the more you follow the child with the doctor with the plan of action, uh, the more uh, com compliant that you are with the child, and the child compliant with you and communicate with the doctor, the better you have uh, a chance of, of managing the uh, child's um, diagnosis and the asthma so the child will not get into trouble. So early detection, a good doctor, and uh, sharp things that you know that are important for that child, and do uh, good follow-up. Thank you.